Hello everyone and welcome to our basketball index headshot and scatter plot tool tutorial. Now this is the go-to place if you're looking to visualize how a player is performing in a specific area against other players in you know whatever given season or multiple seasons you want to take a look at. So with this tool, it's really simple. You pick what you want on your x-axis that's going to go left to right and what you want on your y-axis going up and down. Why don't we pick say matchup difficulty for a y-axis we can pick through any of these hundreds of stats we have available at the site but i'll keep it with defensive impact so what we're going to see here is players on one scale showing how hard the matchups are they're taking on and another scale showing how impactful they are as defenders from here we're able to display values themselves or percentiles i like values because it better captures magnitude but you can go with percentiles if you want and you can even filter and say all right we only want to look at let's say impact for guys with uh, 50th or percentile higher, 50th percentile or higher matchup difficulty. I won't, but you can. You can also pick a minutes minimum. You can pick, you know, a number of seasons. We'll say the past two years. Why don't we take a look at rookies? So we'll go experience one. And, you know, we've got position, advanced position, shooting hand, offensive role and defensive role. Why don't we take a look at our wing stopper defenders? And then what we can also do is pick specific teams if we'd like. You know, none of them, all of them, only a couple of them. I'll keep it on all teams and you can reset the teams if you'd like. You can filter by player age if you so desire. And in addition to that, and this will go away soon since we've got new teams pretty much sorted out, but you can choose by free agency status or by the upcoming season's teams. Once we have all of this figured out, we can go ahead and plot our graph. This is just going to take a second, and once it is done, eh, that's not all that many guys. Why don't we Why don't we raise how many players we're looking at here? Because we're only looking at rookies. So, all right, so that's a little bit better. We've got to look at all of our rookies, each of their heads, and if you zoom in, these stay pretty high quality. So that's a nice feature of this. Um, you just want to make sure you screenshot it the right way to retain that uh, level of quality on the picture. But we've got matchup difficulty and our x-axis, defensive LeBron and our y-axis. We can see Herb Jones, top matchup difficulty, best impact. If we're looking at these guys and we're like, huh, who is that? I'm not sure who that is. What you can do is you can scroll down to our scatter plot where instead of player faces, you have dots. And you'll see names with the dots. And you can hover over and say, okay, uh, you know, it's this player is that age for that season. Those are their exact values if you want to see the exact values. But we can see that's Lamar Stevens is, is that dot there. Maybe you weren't familiar with Lamar Stevens. You'll also note with our scatter plot, we have colors and we have dot sizes happening as well. It so happens to be, let's see, dot color by offensive position, dot size by age. And just with these other things, you can pick, let's say I want to look at offensive role for color and for size, let's take, actually, you know what? Uh, we'll stay offensive position and say, let's see. We'll do versatility instead. We'll do versatility is our color. I changed my mind. We'll do versatility size and then offensive position is going to be our color. We'll run that again. And then we can scroll down and take a look at it. What we can see here is Herb Jones, power forward, Lamar Stevens, Jaden McDaniels, these are the guys up here at the top. We've got just RJ Hampton among shooting guard point guards. Um, for just point guards, you've got a number of players. For just shooting guards, small forward, you have a number of players. And if you click on them, you can choose to hide certain ones here. So that's an, an interesting feature to be able to hide certain dots. Now from here, if you wanted to take what's on here, um, and so we've got the colors by position. The size of the dot is versatility. So Herb Jones is very versatile. His dot is much larger than a dot like Grayson Allen's, who is much smaller. And if we wanted to take this information and take a screenshot of it up here at the top, download plot as a PNG, that's the best way to do so. Keeps the quality and that'll download and you'll be able to post that where you'd like. Up here, you're able to do so by hitting our screenshot button or my favorite thing to do, just right click, save image as. This is better than taking your own manual screenshot because downloading the picture is able to retain the quality of the picture. 
if you happen to see an NBA logo, that's for a player who doesn't have a picture in basketball reference. This is probably someone who played just a couple of minutes. The other thing we can do is, well, you know, we've got a bunch of seasons in here. How do we know who is which year? You can hit plot with season and run it again. And we are then able to take a look and see, okay, well, Herb Jones, that was this year, 2022. Last year, we've got Jane McDaniels. A couple years prior, who is that? Oh, that's Josh Okogie. So this is the kind of way you can be analyzing with this. And you say, all right, well, some of these guys, they took on really high difficulty, but they weren't performing all that well. Their defense of LeBron was negative. Maybe Darius Garland, or no, I'm sorry, that's Isaac Okoro. Maybe he was taking on too hard of matchups um, for how he was performing. And you can see guys who were easy matchups and poor impact or guys who were decent impact, but easy matchups. So, you know, interpret it the way you would a normal graph with an X and Y axis, but you're able to analyze up to four factors at once with dot size and dot color also incorporated. You can get the season in there as well as a fifth thing. So there's a lot you can do with this, but it's a great way if you want to see, all right, well, for the Lakers this most recent year, and let's say all their positions for guys that played a thousand or more minutes, what did their defense look like? Oh, wow, 80s way above the rest of these guys. LeBron was okay, but he was taking on easier matchups. Mello wasn't doing so hot. Avery Bradley took on really hard matchups, but wasn't performing all that well. So you can see all of this sort of stuff for a specific team or specific groups of players. And that's the power of our headshot and scatter plot tool. Thanks, everyone. And actually, you know what? There's one additional thing. If you want to look at specific players, you're able to, let's reset the teams. Uh, we'll say this most recent season. We don't need those on. We don't need that on because it's this most recent year. But if we want to say, all right, well, how did LeBron compare with Steph Curry, with Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving? And you can pick up to 10 players. You can then plot those specific players and see how they compared in any given area. So we say, oh, well, Kyrie took on harder matchups, but his impact wasn't so good. Steph took on really easy matchups and had an okay impact. Katie and LeBron were somewhere in the middle from a matchup difficulty standpoint and had about similar impact as, as Steph on the defensive end. So that is how you can utilize the filter by players rather than filtering by custom and, and using all these other various filters. So after that, we are done this is our headshot and scatter plot tool at B-Ball Index. Enjoy.